Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who spills the tea, bitch, let a bitch know and subscribe. I would be so incredibly grateful. How are you, honey? Happy Thursday. Happy Throwback Thursday. Um, I hope you're doing good. If this week hasn't been great, don't worry, bitch, because there's always next week, okay? Don't be so damn hard on yourself, all right? Because my best friends, we're not hard on each other, okay? And you're my best friend, bitch. You like it or not, okay? So grab a snack, grab a drink. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because Sebastian Royal is entering the chat, bitch, because we are going to be talking about Prince Harry and all of the mess in the Buckingham Palace, bitch, okay? Now listen, you're probably wondering, like, girl, when did you this interest you, honey? I've always loved the royalty, okay? Um, I was one of those who was incredibly, incredibly connected, and I loved Princess Diana. Of course, you know, I got to know her, unfortunately, after her death. Well, I didn't get to know her, but you know, with the media and stuff, and I absolutely just fell in love with her. Um, and, you know, obviously, Prince Harry, you know, he's just like, you know, you know, and that Netflix documentary, bitch, it is so freaking, it, it's filled with tea. So if you love the royal mess and you want the royal tea, honey, okay, okay. <laughs> we found each other. Okay, so listen, Harry has a new autobiogra autobiography book uh, titled Spare, right? And girl, he is not, uh, he's not like, Girl, what was I going to say? He is not letting anything go without being written. That didn't make fucking sense. But you know, he's spilling all the tea, basically. Okay, bitch? So listen, I have some, like, little highlights of what is to come on this autobiography. Now, please, Prince Harry, make sure that you do an audio book because I don't know if I can... You know, last book I read was Harry Potter, honey, and that was a struggle. So I really do hope that there is an autobiography book because his accent, bitch... Yes. Okay, so listen... A couple of the little highlights that I gathered for you. The first one is that he says that his brother, Prince William, physically attacked him. So here, this is a little bit of the tea, right? It says, in, in his highly anticipated autobiography, Spare, Prince Harry account, or recounts what he says was a physical attack by his brother William, now Prince of Wales. As a relationship fell apart over the younger prince's marriage to the actor Meghan Markle, describing confrontation at his London home in 2019, Harry says William called Meghan difficult, rude, and abrasive, which Harry calls a par parroting of the press narrative about his American wife. The confrontation escalated, Harry writes, until William grabbed me by the collar ripping my necklace and knocked me to the floor. Um, he says that in result in a visible injury to his back um, is one of the many in spare, which will be published worldwide next week. Girl, he continues to say, um, he grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace and knocked me to the floor. I landed on the dog's bowl, which cracked under my back. That's what led to the back injury. Um, the piece is cutting into me. I lay there for a moment, dazed, then got to my feet and told him to get out. You see, Prince, I've always said this, Prince and Kate, girl, they look crazy. Not, not, not like crazy, crazy. They look mean. You know, they look mean, bitch. She looks like someone who will sit there judging you after you got your third plate at a damn buffet. That's what she looks like, Okay. I don't, you know, I've never liked her. I mean, the bitch can dress. The bitch can fucking dress. But, like, she just looks mean, honey. Okay. Um, another thing that was, like, so crazy was how he says that Kate and William, they are the ones responsible for him wearing that very, very disturbing let's see, costume in 2005. He says that... Um, Kate and William howled with laughter when they saw the costume. So they're over here behind the scenes pulling off all these freaking racist things. And then Prince uh, uh, Harry is the one who got, you know, literally like 
killed in the media, right? And then they're over here showing their proper posture and their posh stuff. And then inside they're being crazy, beating people up and being racist, allegedly. Um, okay, another thing that he says, which was like so crazy, it's probably something I would do as the evil stepmother. He says, Prince Harry reveals that Camilla Parker Bowles turned his bedroom into a dressing room as soon as he moved out. You see, I've watched Cinderella 500 times, bitch, and I'd probably do the same damn thing. You know, no, no shade. I love Harry. I'd be like, girl, you're moving now. Okay, bitch. Move in my, uh, you know, color coordinated blouses and Chanel, whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Um, listen, I think that for Prince Harry, um, there's a lot that we don't know because, of course, this family, the royals, you know, they're very, very, very secretive. Shut the fuck up, chair! Damn it! Ruining every damn thing I say! Fat shaming me every single time I sit on you! I'm not letting you get to me. You know why? I am beautiful. No matter how much you squeak, words don't let me down. Bitch. Um, there's a lot of things that are coming out, you know, with, with Harry. I think that it's about damn time that, you know, that they get exposed. You know what I mean? There's so many, there's always so many rumors. There's always so many things that are, that are, are being said. And, you know, they're, they're like, allegedly, allegedly. But, like, I believe Prince Harry. Why would he lie, right? Okay, another thing that he says was that um, he's going to need electric shock therapy uh, because in the... Be or to get out from his mind the sex scenes of Meghan Markle in her show Suits um, out of his head, right? He said that when they first started dating, um, he would like Google those scenes. He says, I'd witness her and a castmate mauling each other in some sort of office or conference room. I don't need to see such things live. Um, I mean, obviously then don't freaking look for it. You know, she was on a damn show, baby. Um, you know what? It is the first time in history, I believe, that we're seeing something like this play out. I think that Meghan and Harry chose to leave because obviously like they saw, you know, Prince Harry saw what the media did to Princess Diana, how it slowly broken her, how it slowly eventually, in my opinion, ended up killing her, allegedly. Also, you know, if you watch their Netflix show, you could see everything that he went through and also William, what they went through. Something that Meghan um, said that I, I was like so in shock with was that one of the things that she was so in shock with, with William and Kate, is that, you know how, like, when they're out and about and they're so proper and they're so, you know, like, perfect? She says that it doesn't change when they're behind closed doors. That she thought that they would, when they would get, you know, when they would close the doors, they would, like, breathe. They'd be like, oh, now we can be ourselves, bitch. You know what I mean? It's sort of like when you have guests over and you can't wait for them to leave so you can go hit that uh, leftover pot and just eat out of it. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to eat too much in front of your guests. So then when they leave, you're eating, you know, they're like, bye, girl. Thank you so much. Run to the damn kitchen and get a fucking spoon and just eat. I would think the same, you know, take off your faja. Right? I would think the same thing. But like... Um, she said that they were like so prim and proper and so perfect that they didn't, you know, change anything. Um, Harry says that, you know, one scene that really got to me, and I think this is one of the one of the reasons that he chose to leave this life behind and not give this to Megan or his children or even to himself, is that when they would take family vacations, they didn't have any like royal obligations, right? But of course the the, the press, the paparazzi would follow them and they would have to pose. And they would with their ski with their you know with their skis and their their little ski costume or whatever outfit, and Diana would actually go up to the the paparazzi and be like Princess Diana sorry would go up to the paparazzi and be like you know girl we're on vacation like leave us alone we already given you enough pictures now please leave, I I feel like no kid deserves that you know what I mean and obviously Prince Harry and William. Um, did not ask to be in this, but you know, Harry chose to live his life and William chose to stay behind and to, you know, continue this. And, you know, that's obviously his prerogative, but um, I rather, I, I don't know, because I've always watched Prince's Diaries and I'm like, girl, I really would want to be Amelia, Amelia, the, 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 the
and just like be a princess but at the same time like i'm not prim or proper so i think i would get kicked out from the buckingham palace in two four five seconds bitch because i would be down there you know chilling and drinking with the 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 butlers and the the, the housekeepers and all these people because i mean you know th that's where the fun is you know you want to be with real people you don't want to be with fake ass people who are like prim and proper and you know girl bye right but then again i really would love some tea and I really want to try those cucumber sandwiches, you know what I mean? But I think I'm, you no, know, like for, I think I'm too real and too, you know, messy to, to be a royal. But you know what? If I do find out tomorrow that I am a princess of Genovia, I'll be like, shut up, shut up. And then I would be like, okay, bitch, where's my crown? Right? Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. And if you want some more messy royalty, let a bitch know. Bye, guys.